All right, everybody, let's keep going. What else can we do to this page to make it look more like this one? Well, I want the text uppercase here. You can see over here that this is all in capitals, this is not. I mean, I could change this if I want to capital letters. I can also add a style to make everything uppercase. But there's also another useful one that comes with Bootstrap. I can actually add a class and use a class in Bootstrap called text dash uppercase. If I save this and refresh, look at that. Everything is uppercase. That's awesome. Now, what about the button? Let's add some bootstrap styling to the buttons. Again, let's say you don't know how to add bootstrap styles or you don't know the classes. We can always go to the documentation and search buttons. There we go. We see that we have some button classes that we can use. In our case, let's use this one, button primary. So I'm going to copy, come back, and with this button, let's give it a class of button primary. If I save and refresh, hey, look at that. We have a bootstrap button already. That's really, really cool. But you know what? I want to have a different color, right? I want the button to look more like this, something nicer. So we can add our own custom CSS. Let's call this class button XL for extra large button. And this isn't a bootstrap class. If I save this and refresh, nothing will happen. Instead, we can create this button XL right here in our own style sheet. So let's say button or dot button XL is going to be, let's make this a little bit bigger, is going to have padding of let's say one REM on the sides and two REM top bottom. If I refresh this, that's better. That's a lot bigger. So we have an extra large button. Now we can add sizes or we can add different properties here. But since we named this class button XL, we should just leave it the way it's describing things. That is to make the button larger. So instead, let's just modify the existing classes that we have, which is the button and button primary. So if I go back here, we can say that the button class will have a font weight of let's say 700 and a border radius that is to make the edges more circular and we'll give it 300 pixels. If I save this and refresh, hmm, that's a lot better, I like that. And I want this capitalized as well and I could use the text uppercase class as we've seen before or I can just in here say text transform and just say uppercase. So just use a CSS class. If I refresh, hmm, that looks really, really nice. Now let's keep going here. Let's add another class here, which is button primary. So we're just adding on to the bootstrap styles that we have. And we'll just give it a background color of what should we do? Well, if we go back to this page, again, we inspect right here by hovering and we click, we see over here as we scroll down what color we're using over here. Let's see. Where is the color? Let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is right here. So I'm going to copy the color, add it here. If I hit save and refresh, hey, look at that. That's really, really nice. But one thing you'll notice is that the border over here, if we scroll or zoom in, you see that the border has a bit of blue and that's default for the bootstrap theme. So instead, let's add a border as well. So I'll call it border color and give it the same color. If I refresh, 
that's much better. Although now we're hovering and it's turning blue. That's okay, but I don't like it. Let's make it hover so it's still orange, but maybe a little bit darker orange. So what can we do here? Again, we've seen this before. We can just say button primary colon hover. And in here, we can just add background color to be something a little bit different than this. In this case, we're going to use a color that is EE 4B 08. Don't worry, I didn't memorize this. This is just something that, well, I knew that I used when I made this website first. So don't worry, you never need to memorize hex colors. Next, we'll do the same for the border color. So once again, we'll make the border color the same as we have here. That's great. I also want to increase the border width, actually, to just make it a little bit bigger when we hover over it. So let's just give it an extra four pixels and let's save. If I refresh and hover, hey, look at that. That's awesome. So that's looking really, really nice. So we have the button. It's looking pretty good. We have our header. That's looking pretty great as well. The other thing I want to add is this little line here, just to give it a little extra flair to the page. And we can use something called an HR here, or a horizontal line. So the HR tag, which we can just put in between, so let's say HR, is a horizontal line. So if I refresh here, I don't know if you can see it, well, because it's dark, but let's add some styling to it. So let's say in here that we want the HRs on our page to have a border color of the orange that we've had before, which is this one over here. So let's say border color is this. If I save and refresh, all right, look at that. There's our little line. It's a little thin though, so let's add a bit of sizing. So I'll say border width and give it, let's say three pixels. And if I refresh, all right, that's getting bigger. That's good. But I don't want this to be the entire page. I only want it a little bit, just like we see it here. So we have a CSS property here that we can use called max width, which as the name suggests, tells us exactly what's the maximum width of this thing. In our case, let's say 65 pixels. So if I save this and refresh, that's much better. All right, we're making progress here, but there's an issue, right? Right now we have the content that we want, but it's all, all over the place. It's kind of ugly, isn't it? We want everything centered, maybe around this laptop over here. And this is where Bootstrap really shines. So let's figure that out in the next video.